Monday again. I'm gonna get ready, get dressed, put on some makeup, and then get ready to film. Thanks for everyone who asked me a question on Instagram this weekend. I've got a lot of fun things to talk about. I'm gonna record that Q&A video and show you what, I, what else I'm working on this week. And uh, uh, you hear those screaming children? We have a park right next to us, so sometimes that happens. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening today. Hope you uh, enjoy this little, little vloggy. So this is a shawl that I knit for my mom for Mother's Day. And before I show it to you in full, I really need to weave in all of the ends. And I wanted to show you how I do that because I do it a little bit different with shawls. Um, so I, the thing I don't like about shawls is like most of the time when I'm knitting with wool, I will leave like a little piece out and then it'll felt and then it won't like pop through to the other side of the fabric. But, um, with the shawl, I can't do that because there's like a little piece. And I also don't like cutting my end like flush up against the shawl because I feel like it'll come unraveled. So what I've started doing is actually reinforcing it with some, with like a whip stitch with my cotton sewing thread. So I'm gonna show you how I do that right now. Um, so I have all of my tools, I have scissors, I have a sewing needle with some cotton thread on it, which I'm just gonna um, really quickly knot. Okay, that's all set. And then I have my tapestry needle. And so this is where I started a new skein. Just gonna thread this. Then I'm gonna weave it in like, like I would normally do. Okay. So I usually weave in maybe like five or six stitches. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna kind of loosen it up so it doesn't get tight. Okay, so now I have this edge, right? And I wouldn't wanna cut that because it would kind of not look great. So now I'm gonna take my sewing thread and needle and I'm just gonna whip stitch it to the body of the shawl. And I'm going to go through the yarn, both on the body and the little end that's sticking out. Um, this will just like re double reinforce it. Um, so I go through and I usually do this about four or five times. Okay, and then I'm gonna end it at the very end with a double knot. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna trim my like working thread and put that to the side. And then I'm gonna very closely trim all of these. get rid of that and then this is what the edge looks like up close let's see if I can get this to focus so you can see there's like a very tiny right here where by my thumb little piece but really it blends in really nicely so yeah that's how I finish it so let me finish this up um, finish off all the ends there's not many and then I'll uh, show you what it looks like my 
my hands muddy, my knees, my elbows bloody. She'd clean me up and tell, tell me that she, she loves, loves me. me. spoons in, dance onto the couch with no fear. So I just took a couple of videos um, going over like some of just like doing some summer sweaters. So that's an idea that I have and that I'm gonna be working on. I'm trying to figure out how to do it so that it's not super boring. <laughs> Cause I did one iteration and I was like really unhappy with it. I was like, I don't even wanna watch this. I don't know why anyone else would. So I'm trying to figure out a more interesting way for me to do like a wardrobe planning series. Um, and so what I'm gonna kind of do is sort of take like, for now anyway, I'm gonna take little sections of my wardrobe. So in this case, I wanted to highlight summer sweaters that I have. I don't have a lot of like summer knits. Um, I do have one also that's like a whip that I'm not really sure what to do with because I'm almost out of, like I'm not gonna have enough yarn. I, um, I thought I was gonna run out and I, so I bought something that was like gonna be sort of comparable, but then I found more of it in my stash. So I was like, okay, let me see if, if I can just like finish it, um, you know, so that I'll have enough. Um, but it just turned out like when I waited, it, it was just not gonna work out. So now I like have half of a sweater knit and the other half is <laughs> like sitting. So I have some ideas about how I can finish it and have enough yarn. Um, yeah, I'm just a little bit like, like I feel like barriers like that keep me from being motivated because this has been sitting there for like um, a year now. So I need to, I do need to figure that out. So, <sighs> um, but anyway, summer knits. So I don't have many, but this one that I'm wearing right now is out of spin cycle and um, I have posted about it like on Instagram before and if you want more details on any of these go to my Ravelry which is linked below um, but this is the Niho from Barocco I think it's a Barocco one and I saw one of the spin cycles spin cycle ladies wearing it at Stitches West like years ago and I just thought it was so cute and it does actually normally have sleeves but I really just wanted it as like an easy thing to bring some color to my wardrobe because I tend to wear a lot of black which that's another thing is I'm trying like no more black <laughs> which is tough but I want more color so I'm sort of setting a setting a hard uh, boundary. <laughs> Black boundary. Oh god. Um, so this is that one. It's just great. I throw it over jumpsuits. I throw it over um, like a black tank top and it just like kind of makes my outfit a little mo more interesting. And the other one is that little red top that you see there. Um, that is out of uh, also Barocco Remix? A lot of Barocco going on. Um, it's out of Barocco Remix, which is like partially a recycled denim, I believe, um, and other like cotton and recycled denim, I think. Um, I hosted a knit along that was like somewhat of a disaster <laughs> when I was working at the store, maybe like two or three years ago. And it was just like a little more advanced. And so there were a lot of people interested, which was really awesome, but there was only one of me helping people um, with instructions, so it just, it, it was, we were trying something out, it didn't work, moved on, but I really loved mine that I ended up making. I knit one 
that was like the sample for the store and then I knit another one that was for me. Um, I did add a little bit of short row shaping which was interesting because it's knit from like side to side. Um, and the other thing about it is that like it sort of connects up at the top at the back and so it's supposed to be an open back but it's like very very open um, and it wasn't it was like not flattering anymore because of like how big it was and it just wasn't sitting right so I ended up um, if when I turn around in the shot you can kind of see that I've like tacked it down so that it doesn't gape as wide and that definitely makes me wear it more it's really nice but it is pretty heavy it's like a worsted weight cotton so I do wear it like sometimes over a swimsuit or I just wear it like with shorts or um, like uh, leggings but it's it when it gets humid in Boston in the summer it's like not what I want to be wearing at all and today is really the first warm day like I've got the fan on in the other room blasting directly at me and otherwise I'm like pretty uncomfortable so got me thinking about summer man um, it's coming <laughs> but it is cloudy again today so I'm trying to not let that sort of slow down my momentum um, yeah, I think that's it for this vlog. Um, I really, I'm, again, I, I said it before, but I'm really just so grateful at all of you for the subscribes and the likes, and I really hope you continue to like it. If you're new to the channel, um, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out, and, uh, I'll see you next week. Bye!